What's going on guys? This week I've been driving the 2019 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. This is a final edition SE, which we'll jump into in just a second. But final edition basically means that this is the final Beetle. After 2019, no more Beetles, no 2020 model. Let's jump into the review. So this is only the second generation of the new Beetle, but it's been around for a long time. And yes, it is going away. But overall, it's been designed to look more aggressive than the previous generation Beetle, but keep that Beetle aesthetic that everybody knows and loves. All right, so let's talk about trim levels real quick. You can get the Beetle in an S or an SE. For 2019, the Coast and Dune trim levels have been taken away. I did review the 2018 Dune last year if you wanna go check that one out. I'll try to leave an I card above so you can check that one out. But now you have what they've dubbed the final edition trim levels. You can get a final edition SE or a final edition SEL. So with that, let's take a closer look. With the new trim levels you get two new special paint colors one of them is safari uni this is a tannish color the other is stone washed blue metallic and that's what we're rocking right here now like i said this is the final edition se and with this trim level you get these 17 inch multi-spoke alloy wheels with the sel trim level you get 18 inch wheels and they got a cool retro disc alloy wheel that goes on that thing. As far as trunk space goes, you get a decent amount for this small vehicle, but at least when you fold the soft top down, you're not intruding into the trunk. So you don't have to worry about what's packed back here when you wanna take the top down. So overall, I like the exterior aesthetic of this new generation Beetle. I definitely like that Dune look, but this one's really not bad either. No matter what Beetle trim you buy, you're looking at a two liter turbocharged engine pushing 174 horsepower and 184 foot pounds of torque. This is matched up to a six speed automatic transmission with Tiptronic and a sport mode. Fuel economy wise, you're looking at 26 miles per gallon city and 33 miles per gallon highway. All right, so let's take a look at the interior of this Beetle. Not much has changed in here, although if you get the final edition SEL, you can get really nice leather seats with a diamond stitched pattern. Of course, we don't have that here. We're in the final edition SE with these cloth seats, also with this diamond stitch pattern in them. You do get a sports inspired leather wrap steering wheel. It's got the flat bottom on it to make it more sporty. In my opinion, I like sporty steering wheels to be thicker. This is a pretty thin steering wheel for a sport steering wheel, but it's not bad. You do get customizable ambient lighting in the interior, so you can change between a multitude of colors. You get that heritage inspired glove box with a little pull handle it's known for. Behind the steering wheel, you get what VW dubs as retro modern gauges, and these are just basic analog gauges. Overall, I think the interior is spacious, comfortable, and pretty decent with the materials. Tech-wise, you get a 6.3-inch touchscreen display. This supports Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and has VW's CarNet infotainment system. Now, I own a VW, so all this is very familiar to me, but I think it is a pretty easy and intuitive system. You do get a Fender premium audio system with 400 watts of power, and overall, I think it sounds pretty good. You also get things standard like a backup camera. You get blind spot monitoring. You get park distance control and a rear traffic alert system. And when you're ready to drop the top, it's as easy as a push of the button. So 
driving wise it's not a fast car but it is a pretty fun car especially when you got the top down sometimes you can forget that you're riding around in a beetle and just have fun and again when it's time to put that roof back up it's just click of the button latches in i do like that it does the windows as well and there you go now would i buy this car for myself no i wouldn't for one i need a family vehicle but even if i was looking for a small fun fuel efficient car there's a lot out there that i personally would buy over a beetle that being said i have no problem recommending this car if you like the looks if you're okay with being in a beetle which you should be. I think this is a really fantastic vehicle. Not to be one that plays to stereotypes, but my daughter, which is 15, loves this thing. She loves the way it looks. She loves riding in it. And if I was so inclined to buy her a new vehicle, I wouldn't have any problems with her driving around in this thing. Of course, there's no way I'm spending over $20,000 on my daughter's first car, so don't even think about it. All right, well, that brings us nicely into talking about price. And for the base price of the S Beetle is $25,995. And SE goes for $28,395. The final edition SE starts at $27,295. And the top of the line, the final edition SEL is $29,995. So overall on price, I think that's decent. But like I said, there are a lot of other great options in this category for that kind of money. But if you're looking at the Beetle, it's probably because you really like the style and design of this thing, which again, I would never fault anybody for. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Volkswagen Beetle. Let me know if you're upset that this is the last Beetle. And as always, thanks for watching.